Alright y'all, listen. I was on the internet doing internet stuff and I come across this article or it's like a wrestling forum. Actually, the website is called Wrestling Forum. I don't know what I typed for this to pop up, but the title was The Scent of Wrestling Fans. So I went in there and it says that one WWE fan guy. This is from September 9th, 2021. I'm laughing because I don't know. We're going to read it together. Let's see. So I've been to a few wrestling shows in my day, WWE, Independence, and like. I love pro wrestling. It gets me really excited and pumped to be seeing it right in front of me. Ever since I moved away from my native country to France, I have yet to go to a professional wrestling event. But it doesn't stop me from reminiscing about all the people I've met at events and the one thing that ties them all together. No, not the love of pro wrestling. That's a given. But their body odors, their stench, their smells, their lack of basic hygiene. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I can remember the smells distinctly, and one of them has ruined mac and cheese for me for life. As he walked with sandals with sweaty feet that smelled like mac and cheese and his unwashed, sweat-scented, homemade backyard wrestling t-shirt, another had a smell of Doritos nacho cheese mixed with hot dog water. You know how you can taste smell sometimes? I felt the burn of this one which has been burned onto my smelling sens sensation palette. So down to brass tacks. Why is it acceptable for pro wrestling fans to go to shows smelling like garbage? Why do, you, why do they think it's acceptable to grow long hair down to their butts? Maybe to in imitate their favorite workers? Plumbers, like plumber butt, but you can see. Listen, this guy isn't lying. You don't see this in any other sports in the world. As in football, you don't have fans that are normally fit, smell of perfume, except for English lads who smell of stale beer and rum. And well-groomed appearances. Does the onus fall onto the promoter to have standards for fans coming in the shows like other sports do when you enter the stadium? What can we do as wrestling fans to change the culture around so we can be acceptable and accepted by the public at large? Perhaps we need to start singling out people in crowds when you go to events to clean up their act. But of course, one can't do this alone, as we aren't sniffing dogs. So I propose we try to create an actual scope of who's more potentially stinky. As humans, we like to categorize things. So we actually categorize which type of wrestling fans more susceptible to having poor hygiene and grooming standards, AEW, WWE, TNA, ROH, etc, etc, etc. Please share your experience with smelly wrestling fans so we can find out the common similarities of the type of smelly fans and how to best approach one during the show with tat and not going P.U. stinky and all that. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's another article. It says PSA. This is from five years ago and this is just like lore at this point. PSA, please for the love of God, wear deodorant and don't poop your pants tomorrow. It says, last year I was at All In. There was a dude in our section that did not wear deodorant. It smelled like rotten ground hamburger meat mixed with horse horseradish. And then we know of the guy pooping his pants at, do <laughs> at double or nothing. Please, I beg you, don't do this. Please shower and wear deodorant. If you feel like you might poop, please hit the restroom. For the rest of us, we pay good money not to have to deal with the deathly B.O. and poop pants. Some people did share. They said it smelled like piss at some wrestling shows they go to. Some was like, have you ever been to a Smash Brothers tournament, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh? Most nerds don't bathe. That's just not a wrestling thing. They said in college... They were the stereotypical braces, juicy yellow spots on their face, greasy hair. Incidentally enough, massive wrestling geeks. Um, I've actually been to a, a wrestling, uh, not a wrestling, uh, um, oh my god, Super Mario Brothers tournament. It was in the middle of mall in Easton. And when I tell you, no, it was Polaris. When I tell you. The funk that was in the air, it was an indoor, Polaris is an indoor and outdoor mall, but the tournament was indoors. Oh, baby, them nerds, geeks, whatever you want to call it, they had that shit lit. 
it was literally raw as war was going on in this Smash Brothers tournament. This person says, I've only been to two wrestling shows in person. I have to wholeheartedly agree. The same can be said for really hardcore metal gigs. Fun people, but my God, take a bath. I'm not really sure why this stereotypes follow some hobbies and genres a lot more than others, but it's probably something that a psychologist among us could deep dive into. I personally do have friends that are like this too, as wonderful as they are. It just shocks me that you can live your life in such poor state of hygiene. Do they not notice or smell or that their nose literally has dust selling on top of multiple layers of solidified dirt? Seriously, I reckon I could carbon date back to the Jurassic period with the sedimenty, sedimentary layers involved here. It has to be said though, having lived and traveled extensively throughout France for the last few decades, too many people here are like this too. I still, I'm still scarred for life after entering a lift with the Frenchman in Nas Pas Das Calas in the early 90s. In the early 90s. All right, these folks is going on and on and on. Um, here's my thing. I've been to a couple of wrestling shows, and I can say, um, I've never sat around someone that was just funky. Luckily, we sat around people that smelled like liquor. Like, for whatever reason, they sell liquor at these wrestling shows. So people like to drink beer and stuff. But the way folks dress and come to the wrestling shows, I've seen people, when we walk into the stadium, because they got us parking way the fuck out. Then you got to walk to the um, venue. And some of these folks got flip-flops on. They got beards on their necks. You can see their ass crack. They didn't wash. You can clearly see they didn't wash their hair for a while. Acne out the wazoo. Like, just filthy. And I'm like, I know this motherfucker stank. Some of them, you know, got their belts. They got their beards. Like, they got that slew foot. I went to GameStop. This is another place that is notorious for funky people. This man was huge. He had lymphedema out the I mean out control greasy glasses he was greasy and wet and moist he smelled like a dead fish like I was gagging my son was like can I I'm trying to I said I, I can't deal with it. I can't do this gagging and then GameStop got the nerve to not have no fucking air condition so there's already a stigma around wrestling basement dwelling Usually white males, middle age to late thirties, don't get no pussy, charge the fuck up, beat they meet a lot, only fans, watch a lot of porn, don't know how to talk to people, somewhere in Utah or in the middle of West Bubble Fuck Ohio. That sit and watch wrestling. Pining for the days of mud matches and women in bras and panties. Pining for the days where you can hit a man over the head with a chair and be busted wide open in the blood and the guts. That's why they go running over to AEW because it's kind of giving them something that they could feel. But that body odor, somebody says something about psychologists. I'm not a psychologist. I'm a clinical therapist, social worker. So I give my little mental health take. Usually when people let their, their hygiene go, is indicative of something else. Not that I'm saying there's a mental health issue, but a lot of times these people don't have nobody, no friends or nothing around them to kind of tell them, can you fucking bathe? They're usually in their own space all fucking day, right? Um, I guess you don't have to bathe if the ladies ain't really looking your way because you look like a fucking big pop pimple. You know what I mean? So a lot of times they're nose blind. I know when I play video games, especially when I was younger, I used to sweat. Because, like, you you into it. You getting it in. Girls get funky, too. So, I be sitting there smelling like a fresh cut onion. And I'm like, God damn. And that's only, like, for three hours of play. So, imagine if you sitting there marathoning fucking GTA Online or fucking Call of Duty. And y'all know how y'all get down on Call of Duty. You probably smell like shit. Now, the guy that... that uh, pooped his pants down to the um fucking double or nothing I don't know what was going on there but that's fucking nasty I know there was a seat floating around where somebody had actually had a skin mark on the seat and that was AEW 
But again, I just think this is absolutely absolute hilarious. And it's another stigma for wrestling fans. A lot of people don't even know, like, I'm a wrestling fan unless I tell them. And when they find out, because I actually, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I wore my Bianca Bell Air shirt to work. One kid knew who Bianca Belair was. And my boss was like, I keep looking at your shirt. Like, what's going on here? I said, well, that's Bianca Belair. And she got the, the braid. I said, that's her braid. That's her signature. And sometimes she whip people with it. And he bust out laughing. He thought that was the funniest shit. And everybody was just smiling at me like, bless her heart. And like, you know, I'm not like I'm sped or something. No, I just, that's my hobby. I like wrestling and video games. This is one way that I could build a rapport with the teens that I work with. Because I know what the fuck they're doing. And these kids, although it's a mental health setting, a lot of them don't bathe. But there is an underlining mental health condition that these boys got. So I can understand that. But if you like 35, 36 years old, 40, and you smell like old dicks and like garbage behind Wendy's on 100 degree weather, then there's something up with you. Like you need to figure that out. And then you get on the internet and tell about these women got to be in the kitchen because these bitches ain't. Don't nobody want to fuck you because you're not pulling back your foreskin and cleaning the, the white cottage cheese from it. That was a lot. That was a lot. And you probably didn't even make it this far to even hear that. So I could just say that and it could be cool. But if you did make it this far and heard that, my bad. It, it was just a thought that be going on. Because a lot of men don't know how to clean their penises. So with that being said, you got any funky stories? Share. Let us know. <laughs> Catch you later.